In general, working with animals is, is always difficult. Doing 4D ultrasound on animals was a complete first. Um, it, I, I think it had been done in a limited way, but doing it on elephants and dolphins in, in the way that they did was um, completely unique and only done for the programme. Dr Thomas Hildebrand is a specialist in veterinary ultrasonography. He's one of the few people in the world that can capture 4D images of animals in the womb. We discussed it uh, very intensively, which animal would be uh, the most suitable for this program. Elephants was no question, due to the fact that they are so fascinating from their length of gestation. Dolphins were uh, mammals which uh, came from the land, so the evolutionary development is uh, very interesting. And dogs, I think, uh, were chosen due to the fact that everyone knows dogs, but nobody has really an understanding what's going on in a pregnant uh, bitch, and that was really clearly uh, shown in this program. We were extremely impressed how different the animal behavior is between the different species. A dog is barking inside, there's a lot of activity. A dolphin is swimming like hell. We really had problems to follow it with ultrasound. If a dolphin doesn't want to roll over to have its, its abdomen ultrasounded, then it won't do it. We can scan them transcutaneous, means through the skin. The dolphins lie on their back and we can then uh, observe what the baby is doing. We had to be prepared to wait for a lot of, lot of the footage in this film. So the elephant was, from a scanning point, the biggest challenge due to the fact that the body is so big we can't scan them from outside. Insert the arm into the rectum up to the shoulder to find the baby inside this huge belly. And due to the fact that the rectum is quite large, it doesn't bother the elephant. Because they get all these treats for the procedure, they really looked forward every morning to have another scan. It's a transrectal ultrasound scan, which is not used in women. So that's, uh, that's a big difference. You may put a slot in your filming schedule to film your elephant birth, but you're not going to find an elephant that will actually give birth on the day you intend to film. We waited two and a half weeks for one elephant um, to give birth. Um, obviously, it's just an incredible thing to see um, the fact the elephant's been there for 22 months, um, developing and growing, so it, it comes out as a, as a more like a miniature adult than a, than a baby. I say um, the elephant birth is definitely one of my favorite moments. It was a bit of a minor miracle that we got that one in the bag.